Greetings and salutations folks, it is I, Gaslight. So I just watched this TikTok video and I just want to share it with you guys because I find it really embarrassing and cringe and also disappointing that there are actually people like this. So in this video, we have Mr. Beast copycat or whatever acting all generous and kind for obvious reasons. Money. But anyway, here's a clip of him. So this guy over here is a Ukrainian TikToker named Alexander Voloshin. And to be honest with you, I don't know what videos he makes, I don't know what's his content, I don't, I don't really care, and I don't want to know. But we don't understand what this dude is saying, but don't worry, because I downloaded the dub version from an anime website I got from 4chan. What's up, cocksuckers? It's your boy who you didn't know existed until now. So I got this iPhone box over here that I stole from Apple, and now because I'm cool and a douchebag, I will give it to people for views. So don't forget to follow my TikTok because you might win this phone. A spoiler alert, you won't. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go. Sally, that's the only part that is dubbed. I'm deeply sorry, but I still have the rest of the clip if you guys want to know what happened in this dude's character arc. <laughs> Even though you don't understand a word he is saying, we could understand what he is doing. So he's asking people around the city if they want an iPhone, which they smartly refuse. And this guy has asked a lot of people until he came and saw this mother and her daughter. Now this part is where shit goes real. If this is his rise, then this is his downfall. Because these are the people who will ruin his whole career. You can see them giving high fives and exchanging hugs and it just puts a bright smile on that young girl's face. Now, that's pretty wholesome, wouldn't you agree? But we also know here in Mythbusters that someone like this guy is just doing this for fame and attention so that people would see him as Mr. Nice Guy. And that's the absolute truth because you won't believe what happened next after he gave the phone. So this dude just gave the iPhone to the girl and now he's yanking it from her like an older brother yanking a console controller from his younger siblings. Obviously, the mom is pissed and doesn't want him to get it back and telling him she would cry if he gets it back and we all know a child crying in public on the way home is the worst thing mankind could ever experience or could ever witness. But even though the child won't cry, the mother has all rights to be mad and yank it back from him. I mean, he gave it to her so technically it is her property, right? And since you yanked it from her, that means you're stealing it, am I right? It doesn't matter if it's a prop, it doesn't matter if it's a prank. Why would you do this to a young girl, man? She's just a young, innocent girl. You gained her trust and now you're destroying her. You're literally giving her trust issues. Also, this guy said that he would pay them 2,000, um, well, I don't know how to pronounce this. Hrivna. Yeah, that, which is like $73, I guess. I don't know. I'm not smart when it comes to currencies. He said that he would pay them for that back. Like, bro, the amount of money he would pay them just for a prop. So lesson learned, everyone. If you want to fake a challenge like this, don't do it to gullible people like a child, okay? Do this with your friend that you know. If you're just going to make fake shit, I mean... I, I really don't care if it's fake or not. It's not like faking it would make my dying family hungrier. So why would I give a fuck or two? And also, once you give something to someone because you're acting generous, it's theirs, okay? Don't try to get it back because you're not the only one with a camera already. So that's all I could say about this, this video. So yeah, peace.